Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen about the flex flow property and also the flex wrap property. We have seen it. Now it's time for us to learn another concept in the flex box or the flex items. That is nothing but controlling the space inside the flex items. For example, these are the flex items, right? So how we can control the space? For example, if you see here in our thing, this is the default one. So if you try to see here, item one, item two, item three, the space, how much it is taking the minimum content, the content, how much the item is having that much content, that much space it is taking. So if a flex item has some more content means, so it needs some extra space. So the content, how much it is fitted, that much space only it is taking. So this is how the default layout is uh, not not uh, the default flex works. Now, can we control the space for a particular item for a single item? Can we control the space? Okay, that is the main thing we need to understand. So, we, assuming our container has more space than it is needed to display the items. So, that means here our container is having the more space than the items. The items line up at the start and do not grow to fill the space. So now here the items are normally starting at the start. So they are starting at the start of the container at the first of the container and they are not growing to fill the to complete space. So the entire blue color space to be filled completely. So they are not filling automatically by default it is not filling. To stop growing at their maximum content state. This is because the initial value of the flex properties. So I will try to tell you the three flex properties important thing. First one is the flex hyphen grow. So these things are applied for the individual child elements. There is nothing but the items flex grow flex shrink and also the last one is the flex basis. So first one is flex grow means I if it maintain is the zero means the items will not grow. Okay items will not grow. So this is the any this is the initial value. So zero is the initial value. Zero is the initial value. Flex shrink means it will be one. So items can shrink. Items can shrink smaller than their flex basis. So that is the main thing you need to understand. And the last one is the flex basis. So here you and your this is one is auto. The default one is an auto. The default one for this one is one. And when you are trying to mention this flex basis auto means items should have base size should have should have base size of auto okay so these are the main things for example let's say that we are having the flex out and these are all the items if i mention flex grow the default values flex grow is zero and the flex shrink is one flex shrink is one and also the last one is the flex basis is the auto so these are the default one if you mention these items if you mention these properties to the items the output will not change the out of output will be like that only so now instead of mentioning these all the flex grow flex shrink and flex basis so we can use a shorthand notation that is nothing but flex initial so if you mention this one as flex initial okay so this one is this one is nothing but flex grow is zero and the flex shrink is one and the last one is flex basis is auto flex basis is auto so that means these are the initial values so you can mention this one as flex initial so then it will also work in the same way only if you see the output then also it works in the same way only okay so this is a flex shorthand property which represents flex grow flex shrink and the flex basis <clears throat> now we want to to cause the items to grow while allowing large items to take the more space the small items normally to them is we can use a flex auto so that means we can use it as a flex auto so that means we are telling that the items which are having the larger content take the larger space and normal uh, take the normal space only so if you try to see here it will try to fit all the content okay it will it is trying to fit the uh, the container but here this is taking little bit of more space for example if i try to show you 
uh, I will add some data here. Okay, larger content. Now, if you try to see here the output, so the first item is taking the more space automatically. Why? Because it is having the more content. Because of that reason, it is taking more space compared to the item two and item three, which is, which is same level. So now here the space is equally divided between the two items, between the three items, and this one is having more content. In order to fit the more content, it is taking the uh, it, it is taking the more space. So this one is nothing but we have mentioned it within flex auto. So flex auto means nothing but we are mentioning it as flex grow one and also flex shrink as one. So flex shrink as one and we can say it as flex basis as auto. Okay, here we have changed flex grow to one. That's it. So then that has become auto. So one one auto means nothing but auto you can make it as. So this is one representation. Flex auto will mean that item sends up in different sizes as the space that is shared between the items is shared out after each item is laid out as a maximum content size. So that is the main thing. So a large item will gain more space to force all of the items to be consistent size and ignore the size of the content page. Now the last one what I want to tell you is the flex one property okay the flex one property if you mention it as a flex one so let's see how it will happen so now here either the content is more also the equal amount of space is divided between the all the items so that is the main thing of the flex one so here flex one means the shorthand notation is nothing but flex grow of one and we are saying that flex shrink of one and the last one is the flex basis we are telling the zero so that means this is the width of the item so we are telling that the width of the item is nothing is there and the flex grow one is there means automatically share the space remaining space between the all the items equally evenly we are saying so that is the reason we have used the flex of one so these are the three properties which you need to remember flex one flex auto and the flex initial so here when this one is flex one is there means flex grow is uh, when the flex one is there means flex grow is one and also the flex shrink is one and flex basis is zero. So when it is auto means so here flex one is one here I can say one and this one is auto flex basis is auto. So it is there means flex grow is zero and flex one is one and this one is auto. So like this it will be there so flex grow flex shrink and also the flex basis so these three define the, these three control the space inside the flex items so this is this is all about the flex grow flex shrink and flex basis we will try to see more about the uh, items how we can grow it in a different rate so one item i want to make it more bigger and i want one item i want to make it as less lesser so like this if i want to control each item means how we can do it let's try to see it here we have controlled all the three items at a time using one auto and initial later on we'll try to see each one uh, clearly hope you understood about this flex growth flex shrink and also the flex basis if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you